Hi friends, welcome to CCV Knowledge Hub. In this session, we will learn what is metallurgy and what are differences between metals and non-metals. Let's move to what is metallurgy. Now, we will see what is metallurgy. Metallurgy is the science and the study of the properties and understanding of different behavior of metals under different conditions. Metallurgy studies the physical and chemical behavior of metallic elements and their preparation. Generally, metallurgical engineers extract, refine and recycle metals. Elements are classified into metals or non-metals based on their properties. Now, let's move on to the differences between metals and non-metals. Here are some important differences between metals and non-metals. Metals. Metals are electron donors because they readily lose one or two electrons when supplied with energy. Whereas, non-metals. Non-metals are electron acceptors because they readily gain one or two electrons when supplied with energy. Metals usually have one, two or three valence electrons. Non-metals usually have four, five, six or seven valence electrons. Metals will form positive ions or cations. For example, Sodium. Sodium loses one electron and forms Na plus 1, univalent. Calcium. Calcium loses two electrons and forms C8 plus 2, divalent. Aluminium. Aluminium loses three electrons from its outermost shell and forms Al plus 3, trivalent metal. Next, nonmetals. Nonmetals will form negative ions or anion. For example, chlorine. Chlorine gains one electron and forms Cl- univalent. Sulfur. Sulfur gains two electrons and forms S-2 divalent. Nitrogen. Nitrogen gains three electrons and forms N3- trivalent. Next, metals can be lustrous. It means they can be polished and it exists in solid state. There is an exception, mercury. Mercury, if we see, it exists in liquid state at room temperature. Non-metals. Non-metals are non-lustrous. They cannot be polished. The, here is an exception, graphite and iodine. Graphite and iodine are lustrous. They can be polished. Non-metals ex exist in liquids and gaseous state. Now, let's know the other differences between metals and non-metals. Metals have high melting point and boiling point. Here is an exception. Sodium, potassium and calcium have low melting point and boiling point. Non-metals. Non-metals have low melting point and boiling point. Here is also an exception. Carbon and silicon have high melting point and boiling point. Metals have high density. Here is an exception. Sodium, potassium and calcium have low density. Non-metals. Non-metals have low density. Here is also an exception. Diamond have High density. Ductility. What is ductility? Ductility is a property in which metal or non-metal can be drawn into wires. Here is an exception. Zinc and mercury have low ductility. Non-metals. Non-metals have low ductility. Here is also an exception. Carbon fiber can be drawn into wires. Malleability. What is malleability? Malleability is the property of metal or non-metal in which metal or non-metal can be beaten into sheets. 
Metals are highly malleable. Here is an exception. Zinc is zinc has low malleability. Non-metals. Non-metals are non-malleable. Here is an exception. Carbon fiber is malleable. It can be beaten into sheets. Conductivity. Metals are good conductors of electricity due to the presence of free ions. Non-metals. Non-metals are, are bad conductors or non-conductors of electricity due to the lack of free ions. Reducing agents. Metals are good reducing agents because they readily lose electrons. Non-metals. Non-metals are good oxidizing agents because they readily gain electrons. Metals will form basic oxides. For example, calcium oxide and magnesium oxide. Metals form amphoteric oxide. For example, lead oxide and zinc oxide. What are amphoteric oxides? Amphoteric oxides are oxides which, which react with both acids and bases to form salt and water. Metals are also good. Metals also form electrovalent chloride. For example, potassium chloride. Next, non-metals. Non-metals will form acidic oxide. For example, carbon dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Metals, non-metals form neutral oxide. For example, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. Non-metals also form covalent chlorides. For example, phosphorus chloride. Thank you friends. If you like this information, please subscribe CCV Knowledge Hub.